Good morning, H&M. Today is Thursday, April 27, 2023, and here are our morning announcements. I'm Kimora. And I'm Hanya. Um, let's get into it. We have a bunch of announcements, so yeah, we have like 10. Um, so attention all grade 11 students. We're excited to be able to offer you a chance to attend Camp Olympia in the fall of 2023. Um, the parent slash guardian meeting will be held on Wednesday, May 3rd at 4.30 p.m. in the library. If you and your parents are interested in attending the meeting, please sign up on the sheet outside room 213. And at the meeting, we'll be discussing location and all the great activities you'll get to participate in. Permission forms can be picked up by passing room 213 uh, and School Cash Online will be open tomorrow. Your spot, tomorrow or today, I'm not sure. Okay, your spot is not reserved until a permission form is handed in to Ms. John Felich or Mr. Fi Mr. Vink in the science hallway. Um, there are two payment options, full fee and deposit fee. And you'll need clarification. If you need clarification, please see Ms. John Fleecher, Mr. Vink. Um, we're able to bring a maximum of, four of 54 students, so please sign up because spots are limited. Attention, grade 12s. Prom is fast approaching, and tickets for a night for a night under the stars are still available and can be purchased through School Cash Online for $100. To all students who have paid for prom, please ensure you submit your contract and receipt by Friday. Contracts and receipts can be picked up on the bulletin board besides, beside room 213 and returned to Miss Musial or Miss Shion Felici. Um, also, students are reminded to enter the school building through the front door only when returning from lunch or arriving late to school. So do not open the doors for anyone and do your part to keep our school community safe. Hey H&M, if you would like to participate in our multicultural fashion show, please meet for a brief but mandatory meeting in the cafeteria today. Thursday after school. Please have a pic of your cultural attire. You must sign up to participate in the show. Thank you. See Ms. Orozco for more information. And for the class of 2023, so the grade 12s, you have spoken and your valedictorian has been chosen. So drum roll, please. Congratulations to Princess Uwusu Enso. We're looking forward to reflections on behalf of the graduating class. Woo! She's here, that's why we're so excited. <laughs> Thank you to all the students that tried out for the track team. The list is posted outside the gym doors for those who have made the first cut. The second and last tryout will be held at Chingakuzi Park this Thursday, April 27th. Today, please meet in the gym right after school. See Ms. Phillips if you have any more questions. Also, attention all grade 12s that have not paid their graduation fees. Uh, graduation fees are to be paid through the school cash online, on your school cash online account. The deadline to make this payment is tomorrow, so get it in. That's your fault. I got it. Yeah. Okay. It's painting, I guess. I'm not sure if we have the painting. No, we're good. Um, oh. So, uh, good morning, Holy Name. Today is day three of Arts Week. Uh, did you know that the first signs of dance are found in Indian cave paintings dated back to 8,000 BCE, which is over 10,000 years ago, I can read. And here we have today's painting to guess. We hope everyone knows this one. From there. This is The Last Supper, an early Renaissance painting by Leonardo da, Vin da Vinci, painted from... 1495 to 1498. Today in the cafe at lunches A and C, get sculpting because we've got a Play-Doh sculpting challenge with simple prompts, a time limit, and prizes. So bring your friends and a dream for some squishy fun. And for tomorrow, be sure to dress up as your favorite artist, whether it be dancer, painter, musician, actor, or singer. If you don't want to dress up as an artist, you can also dress up as a painting or your own interpretation of an artist. Also, hey H&M, as part of VPAX Arts Week, our H&M dance team would like to invite you to a mini dance workshop on Friday, April 28th, so tomorrow, during period 3A in the dance studio on the dance stage in the gym. So please consider wearing some comfy wear and no outdoor shoes. So let's learn some hip hop and Latin dance moves after a quick dance, stretch, and warm up. So see you there. Hey H&M, if you attended Marketplace yesterday and went to Fod Fatima and Layla Station, where they were giving out cupcakes and por Portuguese tarts. The raffle winners are here. The first winner, well, Isn't in third place, we have raffle ticket number two. Hey. 
In second place, we have number 49. And in first, we have 37. Congratulations. If you won, please come to Ms. Pontieri's room in 113 after announcements. Thank you. And last announcement, I know it's been a lot. Today is International Girls Day and Today is International Girls in ICT Day. ICT stands for Information and Communication Technology, and this day is recognized to draw attention to the need of young of more young women in ICT and STEM fields. So now let's watch a video to learn more. NEAC, the world's first electronic programmable computer, was handled by six women. These women are known as the NEAC girls. At Holy Name, we offer computer science courses in grade 10, 11, and 12 to learn about computer hardware, security, and programming. We also have media arts, broadcasting, and yearbook courses that teach you editing, layout, photography, and communication. In grade 9, you can take BTT, learn about different internet softwares, and also about the history of computers and internet safety. Although women make up close to half of the world's total population, 259 million women still don't have access to the internet. Hey H&M, this is another raffle ticket announcement from Marketplace. The winner for the raffle ticket from Sugar Rush Creamery business is Jasleen A from grade 11. Please come see us in room 113 to claim your prize. That's all for your announcements. Have a great day.